I can't understand what they're saying. I mean, exactly at six. Are you serious? I heard him, but she's like, you go stay in there, and we'll do a Hi there, everybody. So today I'm here with a good friend, Andy, who hails from... Australia! Which is a place down under full of kiwis and kangaroos. And today she's hopefully going to let me experience the joy of Australian kid shows, because I never had to watch any in America. We had enough on Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Disney and all that. So what do you got for me? All right, the ferals. I've never heard of the ferals, but it makes it sounds like like a feral animal. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Well, multiple because the ferals. Because it's Australia. Plural. All right. There's a rat called radis. A rat He's called a radis. Radis. <laughs> a cat called Mavigliana. She's fluffy, but she's tough. Don't mess with the ferals. They made a show about feral animals. <laughs> uh, yeah, this episode's called Ratty Ratty Bang. Ratty Ratty Bang. So you guys have so many dangerous wild animals that you wanted your kids to think, these are fun, it's Ratty Ratty Bang Bang you know and what? the tough cat. The best thing about that show is that like, um, like I think it was Mixie, the pink rabbit, uh -huh. she actually had like her own like side show. Really? She was my favorite. And my mum's friend mm -hmm. was the voice of her. What? So I got to like hang out with the voice of her. You got her to hang out with Mixie the was, rabbit. Like, three or four. That's pretty cool. That's pretty exciting. Okay, so that was definitely the best start I could have expected <laughs> from Australia. Johnson and Friends. A stuffed it's elephant like, on a skateboard. There's a hot water bottle character. And a squeezy box. Uh -huh. Get the Ollie birds in the background. That does sound Johnson very Johnson was a small stuffed elephant who lived in Michael's bedroom. Johnson looked around for a friend. And then talked to a hot water bottle. <laughs> Probably. But there wasn't a single one in sight. Me. Blue water high? Blue Water High. I've never heard of it. So it was like, this is when you were a cool preteen. Or are you okay, like so cool preteens pre watch. They always just have to th throw the word high into there. Is yeah, it like an underwater high school? high school? No, it's a surf oh. high school. A what? Surf high school. Surf high school. Yeah. I mean, so it's like rocket power. Oh, it's like real rocket power. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so they were in high school oh, where they're it learning how to surf? Or they like surfing and they're in high school? They're in a surf high school, but they go to high school. So they're Wait, there's like... a surf high school? Yeah. Well, no. Yeah, so they like they go to high school, but they're all part of like a surf, like they have a surf scholarship, I think. So they all like live in one house on the beach together. And they just surf and have fun. They're meant to be like training to be professional surfers. That's actually pretty pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It was like real teen drama kind of thing. Real teen drama. I love Ricky, but Ricky loves the waves. The saddle club. So like I Australian think... Canadian. Australian Canadian. Australian. Yeah. I think I read Pony Pals as a kid. So did I. Oh, really? <laughs> My mom loved horses, so she bought me all these. Po I loved reading, and so. Hi. Not the same thing as Saddle Club. <laughs> you are you. I am me. Best lyrics just ever. Just tweet that, and you'll just get rid of all the drama in your life. And Lisa's mom almost runs over Carol's horse, or Stevie's horse. How can you run over a horse? Oh, hit a horse. Because there's like a. Yeah. Oh, because in Australia <laughs> they drive Hummers. Like, boom, boom, boom. Because <laughs> they saddle their argument. That's really bad. <laughs> Out there. Out there. Set in rural Australia. Rural like, Australia. Like so a like... vet clinic? This American kid comes to stay with them and he's oh. like, I hate it here. Of course. Yeah. Because they're at a veterinary clinic. Yeah, like rural, so they're like. Be me. Wasn't that the... Doing what I'm doing. Is that the same song just sped up and rocked? <laughs> as the like... saddle club? Is this a saddle club grown up? Spoil it for me. What is the vegetables? Thank you. Is that crab sticks? No, they're carrots. <laughs> the veggies have been wedged. Oh, the grass is no longer loose. And the veggies have been wedged. The veggies have been wedged. The grass is no longer loose, and the veggies have been wedged. Okay. This show's a bit out there, gotta say. Nick? I was tracking a rabbit. And I don't know of course! <laughs> I was just tracking a rabbit, mate. Silver Sun. Like the Silver Sun pickups. Yeah. That's a good band. Basically, they send all these people on a spaceship to search for the new world. Oh, right. It's so just, they're meant to they be They don't know like, where it is. They're just searching for them. Well, they have a rough idea. You know what? You guys you guys have intros a bit better than England's. I feel excited for this. I love how they're all doing this. They have like... Surf, <laughs> they have a surf simulator. Yeah, on board of course. Spaceship. You can't be Australian on a spaceship without a well, boogie board. They're going to be there for 90 years. I need to surf, man. 
You should cover up more. You wouldn't want to get burnt. Yeah, very funny. Bloody. That was so bad. That was bad. the worst <laughs> joke. If I were him, I'd be <laughs> like, yeah. Parallax. <laughs> Parallax. I've seen Sawyer Hartman's My film. name is Ben Johnson, and I live in Wernup. Ben it's Johnson. Okay. Ben yes, Johnson. Ben. The definition of excitement is when mum forgets to tell me to do my homework. Hi, girl. That is pretty exciting. You can go inside, but those snakers are staying out here. I can't understand what they're saying. I mean, exactly at six. Are you serious? I heard him, but she's like, "You go stay in there, dog, dead boo. Go stay in there, dead boo." You can, you can go inside, but those sneakers are staying out. Those here. sneakers are staying out. Okay. Someone nicks his shoes. Why? Oh, Australia. Stereotypes. Yeah. Stereotypes. Yeah. They're surfing again in this. Yeah, picture. in this yeah. shot, they're surfing. I feel like every Australian kid show needs to have surfing. Lil Elvis? Lil Elvis Jones and the Truck Stoppers. Oh, I like the animation style. It's like Phineas and Ferb a bit. A little bit, yes. They reckon he's the son of Elvis. And what does he do? Around the Twist had like three or four different seasons uh -huh. where the characters were played by different actors. Like Doctor Who? Um, like American Horror Story? Different actors. Different actors. How do you follow it? Um, It's kind of like... Each season has like a running story underneath. Uh huh. But each episode is its own little story. Okay. All right. I can't believe you've never seen this. this is, like I have the box set. Have you ever? No. Ever felt like this? They live in a lighthouse? That's a really catchy intro. I feel like if I was yeah. a kid and I watched that, I'd be singing that every day. So it's like three kids. The two of them are twins. Um, Pete and Linda, they're twins. They're mm -hmm. like 16, 17. And then Bronson's like... Bronson. <laughs> the younger brother. Must have like a lot of friends. Somewhere between like 9 and 12, 13. Is that an Australian name? I've never heard it before. Bronson. I've never met a Bronson. I thought it was American. No. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, my name is Brontosaurus Rex. <laughs> Skippy the bush kangaroo. What's that? What? I mean, it makes sense to have a TV show. About a bush kangaroo. Uh, about a bush kangaroo. Pick your face. Pick, as in I'm picking it or I'm picking it? Well, that's the thing. This is it's like game early show. Nickelodeon, yeah. So like the game show includes games like oh, literally like putting your hand up a big know, fake nose and pulling out all the boogers to find the Nickelodeon. Game. Has it? the, it's Yeah, Nickelodeon has the same thing where there's like a giant face and you have to reach your hand up the nose to find yeah. the flag. It's like Double Dare we had. Because Australia relies on America and the UK to do everything. Except no make waves. <laughs> Except for the surfing. I was actually just trying to make a pun there. Tracy McBean. Tracy McBean. Inventor. I love this. It's Tracy sweet. McBean. Tracy. Tracy. I'm going to do that from now on. If someone says Evan, I'm going to be like, Edinger. Edinger. <laughs> Wow, funny mom. So this is Jimmy Neutron, female genius. Except way better. I mean, I love Jimmy Neutron Holy and crap. Dexter's Lab as a kid, so I probably would like Tracy McBean. Okay, this is definitely Aussie. Aussie? Bananas in pajamas, which are bounding down the stairs. When I was a very young kid, yeah. there used to be bananas in pajamas, and I thought it was such a dumb premise as like a six-year-old that I yeah. just didn't watch it, and but my were... older brother loved it. Oh my god, it's so good. And then there were three little bears. I did want their pajamas though, they're really cute. I have them. Bananas in pajamas are coming down the stairs. Who came up she with this idea? She sounds so happy. What, wait, I'm, I've never seen an episode. What happens in them? What do, what do these bananas in pajamas do? Because just One hearing that, the premise is over. Something very interesting. Just bananas in pajamas, just mate. They just make trouble and then the teddies save them. Mr. Squiggle. Mr. Squiggle. He's a dude that has a pen for a nose. A pen for a nose. So he can write. That is a pen. Wow. Mr. Squiggle. The man on the moon. He's the man on the moon. From the moon? Yeah, he's like meant to be like an alien. So the man on the moon has a pencil for an nose. Apparently. Don't question it. Where'd he get that graphite? Which animal always drops down from the clouds? I don't know. Which bill? The reindeer. That's really good. You're awful. I feel for him. So basically, it's her arm drawing. That's not him at all. Mossman? Uh, oh my god. I want to know what the ocean girl is. It's like an alien? Oh, I thought ocean girl was going to be like half woman, half mermaid. Or basically Well, kind a of. Mermaid. She can breathe underwater. Oh. She's really pretty. She can like talk to dolphins and whales and stuff. 
It's like Donkey Kong Country music here. Yeah. I really remember what happens in the show. Yeah, what, what happens in the show? What does she do? Have she seems to be climbing on a whale there. This isn't animated. Um, I think she's like an alien that comes to the land. She's an Earth. alien ocean girl. And I think she helps people with their ocean powers. <laughs> in Tasmania. Maybe. It looks like know. an island, so I was assuming. Oh my god. In Tasmania. Tasmania is not that small. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the map. It's this little... It's like... Little... There's this shot where it zooms into like this little like tiny like tropical island and he's like, oh, it must be Tasmania. Okay. Franklin the turtle. Hey, it's Franklin. Okay, Martin Morning is awesome. Martin Morning. For a big surprise. Oh, he wakes up and every day is something different. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that means the writers can do whatever they want with this guy. <laughs> yeah. They can do anything. Is Roxanne. Your favorite girlfriend? Yeah, like a girl I've got like friend. five on the side. A little kid, alright? Yeah, with his favorite girlfriend. The guy's macking it. <laughs> macking it? It's macking it. Macking means like making out. No, macking it means he's like rolling in the ladies. You know? Rolling in the ladies? <laughs> Just rolling in them. Okay, I like the show. I think it's got a... It's cool, yeah. He wakes up every morning as something different. And then has to save someone, of course. And then has to save someone? There's too much something pressure on these kid shows wrong. kids, man. Why do they have to always save the day? Why can't they just have a normal day at school? You've got a finger in me. A friend in me. So. <laughs> That'd be quite a problematic episode. Weird alien. It's called Plasmo. Plasmo. This animation style. He looks okay. So bad. His face looks like a vagina. A vagina. It's, it's a vagina alien. Can I show the camera? Oh, I'll put a... This is what this guy looks like, by the way. This alien. <laughs> looks like a What's his name? He looks like he a looks so much like there's, a vagina. There's like <laughs> unmistakable likeness it's, that I feel like whoever designed him was like, you know what, they're not paying me enough for this. <laughs> it's time for him to look like a vagina. I wanted to know what happened in the Plasmo more. show. I don't want to know. Maybe it goes on forever even <laughs> <laughs> That was not the best time to start. <laughs> Maybe it goes forever inwards. No. Your country is weird. <laughs> <laughs> you trust me. How about I'm Harry fun. and the Wink, um, the the Wrinklies? That doesn't sound very good. That sounds like a euphemism for my dick. <laughs> hey, ladies, uh, you want to see Harry, Harry and the Wrinklies? And the... Oh my god! Harry and the Wrinklies was British. British euphemism. Molly Grubs. Molly Grubs. Molly Grubs. Oh. <laughs> Little green tree frog. <laughs> when I visited the museum, we saw some little green frogs. Just in a, a floating big face. Glass tank. They definitely dropped acid. Oh, Just a floating oh, face. I think I'd like to be a frog today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Ribbit, ribbit. If my mom turned this on, I would probably be scarred in a mass murderer. The top comment on this is imagine being on acid and stumbling on this. You deserve the snakes. <laughs> and the drop bears. Drop bears are a thing! <laughs> I feel like it's basically very similar to all the American shows I'm used to, except with yeah. more waves and crazy animals Less. and vagina shaped aliens. Very similar. <laughs> so, if we left any of your favorite Australian kids shows out, please leave them down below because we don't have enough time. And uh, hopefully, I get to check some of those out because I'm actually interested in watching around the twist, to be honest. Do it. That I looks really interesting. Upset. Anyway, if you did like the video, please give it a like below and subscribe because I make new videos every Sunday. Also, Andy. She's a musician friend of mine. She makes really good music, so be sure to check her channel out. Link in the description down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Bye. So today I'm here with my good friend Laffy Laugh Laugh. <laughs> Laugh Town Express. <laughs> You look like straight into the lens. It's okay to look straight in the lens. It's also okay to look gay in the lens. <laughs> That's good. I usually don't like your puns. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.